taken up with these big, large posters that say nothing to the people. So I don't know how you're going to take part in this debate if you're not talking to the people already. PMDC, of course, has been taking advantage of that, going to the airwaves, especially AYV, the um, flag bearer for PMDC was there last Friday. I was there this morning. We need to talk to the people. What are you going to do? Not crowding the city with your posters. That's just a friend advice. So, we definitely are committed to a debate. The candidate for PMDC is an experienced debater. This his, his third cycle um, as a presidential candidate. Unfortunately, he's not here tonight, and I'm sure if he was here, he would have talked all of these candidates under the table. So we are committed. February 15th could not come fast enough. But between now and then, I'm sure the AYV, even before the debate, would make opportunities available where candidates would go to AYV, go to their studio, and talk to the people. If you have a plan, if indeed you are going to change the political landscape, please start taking advantage of what AYV is offering us. So, since I'm not the candidate, I'm not going to talk you to death. I definitely could assure you that PMDC is committed to a debate, and uh, I wish all of the flag bearers good luck, and uh, certainly we let's go out there let's inform the people and of course pmdc is known as a very peaceful party we neither have intra-party nor inter-party conflict and for the parties that have demonstrated that i would implore you to talk to your supporters and members to stop engaging in violence thank you very much thank you very much that is mr bamidere thompson speaking on behalf of flag bearer for PMDC. Finally tonight, um, in alphabetical order, like we said, uh, not the least, um, is a representative of retired Brigadier Julius representative of retired Brigadier Julius Madamio in the person of Dr. Tonight, Ali Kaba, um, People's Party. One country, one people. Answer. I don't. That's the answer. That's the point. So we're one country, one people. Ladies and gentlemen, having introduced ourselves, Dr. Samuel said, I come out of the change. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the next president of the Republic of Sierra Leone, the retired Brigadier Julius Marabio, I bring you warm greetings. I also want to start out by categorically stating that his commitment to the presidential debate is as solid as Mount Kilimanjaro. That is a reflection of a simple fact. And that is his commitment to democracy in Sierra Leone is embedded in the heart of who we are, our quest to build a more just and equitable society. And I must start out by saying that uh, he's not here just because uh, there was a misunderstanding about timing and it was difficult for him to be in two places at the same time. But ladies and gentlemen, for us in the Sierra Leone People's Party, the oldest political party in Sierra Leone, Every time that we inch our way forward, 
to build a more democratic society. It simply affirms our vision of building a truly united society with a shared vision rooted in our slogan of one country, one people. And that uh, we have reached a point as a nation in which we have to be able to debate issues with a commitment to a simple democratic principle and value. That is the right to disagree when it comes to public policies, but when it is all done, we work together to make Sierra Leone a better place for all. We have a vision, and we know that we have to contend with uh, views and visions from other political parties. But our history in governance clearly shows that whenever we are in power, we build democratic institutions. And what we are committed to doing today is nothing strange to us. We say that let a thousand flowers blossom. Let there be debates. And we must, at the end of the day, agree that whoever emerges winner, winner of our presidential elections will be the president of all of us. We are not a country divided along political parties or ethnicities or religion. We are not a red Sierra Leone or a green Sierra Leone or a pink Sierra Leone or a yellow Sierra Leone. We are a united country. And we are saying, in fact, that the commitment to presidential debate simply means that we need to give citizens a reason to vote for us other than simply for the fact that maybe you are from a particular part of the country or you practice a particular faith and so you support a candidate. We have to present bold public policy ideas. We have to contend with the fact that uh, the best ideas will triumph. And we believe in our party that we have the best ideas today to lift our economy up, to make sure that there's opportunity for everyone, not as a slogan, but as a real commitment to the least among us, to build a truly prosperous country. And our presidential candidate is very clear through his new vision and new direction uh, manifesto, which will be released very soon, in which he clearly articulates his positions on education and healthcare and transportation and infrastructure and domestic mobilization of resources and a commitment to make sure that we stop the leakages, the waste in our public sector, and above all, to make sure that uh, we contain the corruption and the bureaucracy that is completely lifeless today. We believe that at the end of the day, when the debates are over, the overwhelming majority of this country will stand with us because of our history. But we also believe that we're not going to build this country alone. That is why a presidential candidate is open to talk to all other political parties. And I believe that what AYV and uh, the civil society groups and all stakeholders are trying to do through this presidential debate simply means that uh, we as a country have come a long way. And we have to start to be a mature democracy. For too long we have been a fledgling democracy. That is not enough. You cannot stay as a baby for too long. You got to grow up. And we are willing to work with others here to come together to make sure that we have civil debate and to commit to issue-driven campaigns. We are not going to make any individual a target of our campaigns. I speak as the chairman of the SLPP National Campaign Committee. We are not going to make this a referendum on any individual. It's not going to be a personality-driven campaign. It's going to be about record, and it's going to be about vision. And on both, we believe we'll win. And when the votes are counted, the retired Brigadier Julius Mada Dio will be declared winner. Sharp noon, March 7, and all my colleagues here will join us in celebrating a tomorrow that's better. <laughs> no, by noon, by noon, we don't want to delay this. We don't want to delay this. Uh, and we, there's not going to be any runoff, by the way. I'm just kidding. Uh, the people decide that. But on a serious note, AYV, we want to make sure that you engage us, that uh, this is not going to be uh, a presidential debate in which uh, we'll simply be presented with a fair accompli. We'd like to be part of the process of consultation, and we are committed to being part of that. So, ladies and gentlemen, our position as a party is very clear. We are committed to the debate. Our presidential candidate will participate come February 15th. We'll be prepared for more debates if it is necessary. And we are confident that uh, most people listening to us will support our new direction, a policy manifesto that will clearly state where we are going.
and welcome back. This is AYV on Sunday on 101.6 FM. Thank you for continuing to listen to us and Channel 33. And for those of us joining us from whichever part of the world you may be in on our mobile app, on our global app, or even on the website, we welcome you once again. I'm going to be opening the phone lines. The phone number is 025-271-959. And before we actually get to the phone lines, just a quick one for my panelists, because we've just had uh, the candidates uh, speak to the nation on their commitment and what they feel about this particular presidential debate. It's the most anticipated event this first quarter of the year. Everybody's talking about it. February 15th, mark your calendar, AYV presidential debate. We're going to give you an unprecedented um, uh, <laughs> production, if I can put it that way. And you get to hear one-on-one -on -one what your candidates are going to be doing for you or would like to plan for Sierra Leone. And uh, you can only get it right here on AYV. If you listen to what the candidates said, uh, I, I don't know where to start. I'll start with Marcella, ladies first. I, I mean, what, do you, what, what are your comments? What are your quick comments before we go to the phone lines? It's quite interesting. You know, just seeing um, the candidates speak and the political leads, because some of the candidates who are not present, it encapsulates what we've been discussing here this evening. Mm -hmm. You know, a number of um, political candidates do have their manifestos, but they've not taken time to interact with the content. And for you to be able to know the role that you're going to assume come 7th of March 2018 and beyond, probably will be going to a runoff. That's why I said and beyond. You need to understand the dynamics. And in fact, a number of people are entering political races at all levels, not just at presidential level, without having a clue of what governance and democracy means it's about and i think as a people that's why for example when subai was speaking and it looks mm -hmm. a little bit despondent that oh year in year out voting people and they come in and Sierra Leone remains the same i just said to myself indeed we do have the people do have the governments they deserve Unfortunately, Zubai and others who are political analysts have left us in the scene, struggling to build the democracy that, that wants. Oh, Zubai, that's an we indictment need, on you. <laughs> we need <laughs> all the voices on this platform <laughs> to get people to discuss a lot more issue-based discussion mm. to drive them to force candidates to drive to the direction we want and i think all of this will build the kind of national cohesion we want to see in sierra leone i mean the discussions have just started and um from a debate professional point of view i was even marking the scores already but i will hang it <laughs> <laughs> prof i want you to respond to that one you've left them struggling um, in the field we criticizing never, we, from we afar have never really, this we never democratic really left. like you had to go someplace to get yourself ready and bring your expertise back to the country actually when i came back i was talking to Samuel wise bangura the other day and i was like you know um, based on what I've observed and mm -hmm. kind of reception, talking to people, there's this pressure. In fact, the other day on TV, somebody was like, so when are you going to come back and join politics? I'm like, uh, mm -hmm. I'm not sure so that's cool. going to happen right now, but my heart is here. And, and just because I'm not here physically does not mean I am not like a commentator on the politics and I am not actually um, playing a role in it. But so eventually I will come back. I actually have started talking to people and making plans that I will come back. Not to run for office, by the way. No, I'm a definitely. teacher and I will remain a teacher. Um, but coming back to um, um, the presidential candidates, the only thing that I want to say, two things actually. One is we need to stress um, the need for a peaceful election. We know our immediate history uh, has been punctuated by massive violence. Mm -hmm. And so the fact that they are um, stressing the need for a peaceful election is important. The only other thing that I will say is that one of the candidates was inappropriate to tell a story about bedroom um, mm -hmm. um, dramatics on TV. It was um, I, I, like, I, I don't know whatever may have influenced him to say that, but that was an inappropriate um, um, analogy. Um, and I think mm -hmm. um, he should apologize to 
um, your listeners the into the country. For, <laughs> but part you know, of the uh, uh, tolerance uh, that, we, that you're seeking in, in politics as happens when you have the presidential debate and the people of Sierra Leone see their leaders sitting together, yep. laughing together, sharing a meal together, mm -hmm. you know, conversing about issues together. This is why the presidential debate is important. Oh, I am not saying it's not important. I was like focusing on... Okay, let me break this down. I was trying to complicate it a bit. Um, uh, this, is what ha this is what happens when you become a professor. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to complicate it a bit to say, yes, it is important to mm -hmm. see the political leaders because by the end of the day, this is what I was saying, for instance, right? Um, the running mates, if you take Chano Majo, he's a friend of mine. Mm -hmm. Number one, uh, Jul Dajalo, he's a friend of mine. We went to Phobia College at the same time. Mm -hmm. They are friends themselves. Mm -hmm. So just because somebody belongs to a different... I, am, I don't belong to any political party, but um, Abdullah Berita is a friend. I, I, I actually, in town, I'm staying with him. Mm -hmm. It does not make me APC. It mm -hmm. does not make me SLP. Mm -hmm. I'm not interested in, in these kinds of partisan stuff. But when you see people who come from different political persuasions mm -hmm. get along, and, 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 and everybody around and their supporter sees this without it becoming some rancorous nonsense, then it makes sense that, oh, well, we could be civil in our political discourse. Mm -hmm. So that is important for mm -hmm. us to be able to have the presidential candidates actually talk to each other, even in relation to policy, mm -hmm. right? Because you have to be able to articulate. In fact, all of them running around what I have been asking, can you give me a five point, bullet point, describing your presidential um, Plan. and priorities and mm -hmm. plans? This is what the president was able to resolve. Yes, and it is important. But I, what I was trying to say mm -hmm. then, on top of this, however, there is the procedural thing. And all of it then gets just... Uh, and if you want to just reduce it to the procedure and say, oh, because they met and they spoke, mm -hmm. and therefore there was a debate, and therefore our democracy has matured, I'm not interested in that kind of talk. Because then by the end of the day, mm -hmm. the substantive issues of governance on people's lives... Um, transforming Absolutely. people's lives is the most important mm -hmm. thing mm -hmm. and that is where my heart is and that is what my focus is on I agree that's with you, I agree with you there. Um, ultimately that's what we, we, we want uh, but from listening to both of you and the, the debate uh, the, the candidates, candidates speak I became more convinced that we need a presidential <laughs> debate <laughs> <laughs> because most of them were light banter they were just yeah. talking of no, no, that's not what we expect the president bit. As you said, five bullet bullet points. In in summary, so give okay. us what you are going to uh, be doing, what you intend to be doing, your sense of vision. So one gets some meat mm -hmm. <laughs> against which one would uh, react. Uh, and no relationship is good, but criticism is good as well. They don't criticize each other. They <laughs> Tim Lee is my friend, you know, and. Well, yeah, friendship is nice, but mm. when it comes to serious business, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. we need, there must be room, there must be reason for criticism. So, we want to see that, that, that aspect coming out. So, I think the, mm -hmm. uh, the, we will criticize these, these uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, preliminary presentations, and let them know that, uh, well, we will want more serious some serious meat. Yeah, some meat on it. Yeah. Okay, the phone number is 025 <coughs> We're opening the phone lines right now. Two of the candidates, Dr. Samura Kamara and uh, Dr. Uh, Kandekoli Yumkela, said something quite important. They said, uh, I think Dr. Samura led with it, and he said, it's time. Okay, there's a call. All right, let's take this call quickly. Hello. Good evening. You're on AYV on Sunday. Good evening. Yes, what is your name? Where are you calling us from? Please speak a bit louder. Turn down the radio if uh, your radio or television Hello. is on. Mumbai calling from. Okay. The point I wanted to to make. Uh, first of all, let me welcome my 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 lecturer, Professor Zubagwa, in lecturing at the college. Okay. Two thousand and seven, just after the election. Um, the one issue I want to address is uh -huh. that is affecting our, our politics also is the formation of these so-called civil societies. Most of these civil societies are, are disguising in, um, in politics and they are also... I, 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 I just want to inquire if there, is, if there is any mechanism that we the people of Siren can fact check some of these civil societies because they are receiving money on our behalf. 
and we know some some civil societies. We know the role they are now taking in this in, in this election, giving fake information to 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 uh, 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 to news agencies outside. You know, so we are not happy with the way how some of these uh, civil societies are, okay. are behaving. Noted, but, this, but uh, for you, but for you as a serious... the debate proper. Okay, good. It is a laudable something, really. I really, really applaud AYB for taking this venture. You know, had it been other institutions, taking to consideration what um, I just stated, this debate shouldn't have held. Because people lack trust in some of these institutions. Some of these people that are man in this institution have already taken sight. So we, before the advent of AYB, it was very difficult for us to see any credible media house or any credible civil society that would stand before the IAPC or SNPP to say, I'm here conducting a debate. Because we know where they are all coming from. You know, so it is a, a laudable effort. And some of us are highly, highly waiting to see and hear from this presidential uh, 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 candidate. Let them tell us, just as Professor have said, you should be able to present your case in five bullet points, what you have encompasses all the problems within that five bullet points that you, will, you, you are coming to address. Thank you very much. All right, thank you. The number is 025 They spoke about honesty. The two candidates spoke about honesty and how important it is to actually be very honest with the people of Sierra Leone. We do have a call. I'll just bridge back onto that one. Yes, go ahead. Hello, good evening. What is your name? Where are you calling us from? Uh, this is uh, Junior calling from Central Africa. Go ahead, Junior. What is your comment or question? Uh, I think uh, it's the Nairobi venture as Carolinian for opportunity to the various candidates that have vied for the position of president. Mm -hmm. However, I have a question and a comment. Mm -hmm. Taking into consideration now, mathematically, we have 16 political parties. Is AYB going to assemble all 16? And how many minutes is going to be given to each of them? Because normally, in international debate, you first of all do a preliminary and have a sizable number, a reasonable political leader that you think will make an impact in the election. Then you take them to a debate. In that sense, you have you hear the clear policy, you hear the clear vision, depending on the time you give them. That's the first question. Now, my comment is, Sir Leon is decided, in fact, this is the first time like this is the one, that we are going to face an election where the outgoing press have a hundred percent or more interest in that election. It, it has never happened in the history of the Remember, most recently for those of you, you remember His Excellency Tidan Kabar, two years to his election, the country will now be born by his vice president. He ensured that he tightened up every state resources at every facet of the country. Sholobi in 2007 was running his campaign from his private residence. And His Excellency President Kaba played little role in supporting him. But all of us, we have, we have started seeing the signs of His Excellency, the outgoing president, His Excellency, having so much interest in this election which is something worrisome for even new themselves. Secondly, this is a debate. This is the first time we are having presidential candidates that have interacted with one another before this time. For example, Madabio have interacted with uh, Samoa Kama and Yonkela in the NPRC. Uh, Yonkela and Samoa Kama have interacted at the UN level. So these are jam-packed professionals. So one of the things you want to advise AYV or the moderators of that debate is to put the questions in perspective so that the lame man in the village will understand what these policies are. To be precise, if you are able to translate those questions into Creole, because we you know we have 80% assistance now, elite, elite people. Mm -hmm. 
and you are you are you are, you are making this debate for sale, Lydia. Junior, so we want to see the questions mm -hmm. people in perspective. So All that right. it's right, not Junior. about professors' grammar, but Sierra Leoneans in Kogola mm -hmm. and the last village in Kailau for mm -hmm. them to understand the issues, especially issues ranging from 100 days, from mm -hmm. three months to six months, clear policy. Yes, Junior. Thank okay, you. Junior, I hear you, and uh, thank you for calling. Uh, just to reiterate that uh, this will be streamed not only globally, but nationally. Everybody will be able to hear this debate. It will be both in English and Creole. It is important that the whole entire nation actually gets to understand uh, the policies. We do have another call here, uh, 0252719599 for those who are trying to call. Yes, hello, good evening. This is AYV on Sunday. Go ahead. Good evening. What is your name? Where are you calling us from? Um, I prefer to remain anonymous. Okay, go ahead. Yep. Um, two things. Firstly, um, I'd like to commend the AYV for such a neutral turn um, you, you, you people have taken. Um, like the other caller said, it has been an unprecedented example you people are setting. Um, the neutrality is worth commending. Secondly, um, I guess this debate has come at the right time. And it's a debate we all really look forward to. This debate will definitely bring about the total or holistic package um, in a message from our flag bearers. I would like to um, be partisan, but I'd like to say there is every reason for the questions to be made so direct and um, the leaders give us an insight as to what they intend doing within the time scale presented. Now, in conclusion, I'd like to say we are pushing change. I think you might want to um, probe the direction I'm coming from. But um, us, for us as young people and some of the first-time voters, I think they'd like to know what's in store for them. Um, we feel the period, most of them now are in, you know, in the learning institutions. Some are finished, but yet to um, find jobs. Some are in jobs that have been intimidated because of their personal belief or their political beliefs. <coughs> some are also intimidated because some community members think we should remain on the orthodox path. Um, the OIV for me has been, and you people deserving the hour awards you had. You people have been so credible and I implore you to maintain credibility, maintain your neutrality, and please, 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 create a level space, level playing field for all and family. I'm calling from Tim Tom, and I prefer Yelena Ben Yelena Benino, as right. I said, uh -huh. but the politics in Sierra Leone has taken a different narrative. And yeah. this narrative is what we, we, we've been craving for. Mm -hmm. I said, all right. Thank you so much for calling. We're going to take the final call because of time. Hello. Good evening. Do we have a Hello. caller? Yes. Hello. Good evening. Go ahead. Hello. Yes. Hello, sir. What is your name? Hello? Where are you calling us from? Hello. I can hear you. Hello. Hello. I can hear you loud and clear. Yes. I'm, yes. Angela. How are you? Hi, Deo. Body weak. Thank small. you very much, AYC. <laughs> Go ahead. Body weak. You are, you, are, you, are, you are set up. But um, um, unfortunately for us, in McKinney, um, when all the speakers we are speaking, there was light. But well, the moment Ali Kabaka then talking, it went off in McKinney until after he got the, the, the mic, the full light came. <laughs> so I think this is a very big concern. Well, I'm, I'm sure the light just went out. Let's stop reading into everything that happens uh, these days. I think everybody feels some type of way. But thank you so much for calling us and letting us know.
Okay, we, um, we, that was the final call. Let's just uh, make a few comments. I was talking about the honesty that the candidates have promised. Uh, um, it, you know, is this what we're expecting to see during the presidential debate? And what does this um, basically say to the international community? Very quickly, before I get your parting shots. Honesty. Well, uh, honesty is a, is a decent thing. It's, it's a good... Uh, so we're about to see a different level of, of engagement amongst the candidates. Yeah, yeah. That's what I was talking about. Mm -hmm. we, we need to see the candidates addressing those sore issues. Mm -hmm. Two of them mentioned corruption. That was just a brief mention. Yeah. Uh, I'm sure that's on the minds of most Thailandians. Yes. What to hear about it? Yes. So you, 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 you cannot avoid talking about certain mm -hmm. things. Mm -hmm. and honesty is one of them. Integrity. Mm -hmm. the, the idea of the truth. People must get a sense that they feel you are saying the truth. Mm -hmm. You are speaking the truth. Mm -hmm. You see? So those issues, they might underlie the, the sense of vision, etc. Mm -hmm. But they have to, we have to feel it coming in their, in their submissions. So that it will also help to influence how we think about mm -hmm. it. Prof, what does it say to the international community? Um, okay, the thing is that I think the most important thing is what it means for Sierra Leone, first of all. Of course. And the international community, I mean, because um, there is this idea that they sometimes tend to be the guarantors of democracy in Sierra Leone in the sense that if there is a problem, then, uh, in fact, even in terms of bankrolling previous elections and all of that, mm -hmm. right? But actually having all of the candidates um, uh, be in the same place and articulate policy, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, it is very important because then we should be able, at least different people will be able to look at what they are saying mm -hmm. through body language. And I think you mentioned that um, even the way in which people respond. Somebody is uncomfortable, you will know. Mm -hmm. If they are telling a lie, even, you know, you are not a lie detector, you should mm -hmm. be able to know that this is Somebody's, not correct, is, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. And I think um, that helps. In 2007 was important in the sense that mm -hmm. uh, it helped those who have been so-called supporting our partners in moving from peace to um, stability in Sierra Leone, we are able to say, well, we have come a long way, at least we've had back-to-back -back elections, and now the opposition have won, right? Mm -hmm. And if we are able to do that, let's say, for instance, the election were to turn mm -hmm. an opposition victory, I'm not in any way predicting that, I'm just saying that, then it goes to actually establishing, even at the procedural sense, the credibility that the country has in terms of strengthening its, its democracy. And I think that's what Kandi and others were talking about. One more thing that I want to add before um, we leave, however, is that I want to see also how is these candidates... Shot? Sorry? Is this your parting shot? Um, I'm not sure if... I am supposed to be making the parting <laughs> shot. <but laughs> no, okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. So if I can put you on hold there, just quickly, because I want to go back to uh, the event that happened on the 9th. Very quickly, we've got a final yeah. take of all the flag bearers together. And uh, a quick vote of thanks from the president, the executive president of AYV. Then we can come back okay. to you. Yeah, and you can wrap all that up in one parting shot. Let's go. Before we get the vote of thanks from the founder and president AYV um, Media Empire, if you could just come up, Mr. Navo. What do you want us to do, sirs? If we could just rise up and just shake each other's hands. We know we did it in the room, but if we just rise up and shake. No, no, you want to do it in the front here? He has to give his vote of thanks. And um, so we could do the vote of thanks. Yeah. Go ahead, sir. You to come to the front and get the If we could just finally line up, this, this, this will be one of the best photos of the year. <laughs> this will be one of the best photos of the year. If we just line up here and, um, and, and take a beautiful photo. And shake hands in the process, which you've already done. But thank you again so much. Thank you again so much. <laughs> it will be fine. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold it like that. This is beautiful.
Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Put your hands together. We're making history. We are making history. We are making history. We are making history. We are making history. And a vote of thanks. Just a brief vote of thanks. Um, jo yeah, just a brief one. Um, before I make the vote of thanks, I think I have a special announcement for all the political party on behalf of AYV Board of Directors. We're going to offer a minute slot to all political parties in the country, effective 22nd um, January. Thank you very much. Um, on behalf of AYV, I want to thank the flag bearers, our partners, especially the U.S. Embassy, the United Kingdom Embassy, and also the Chinese Embassy. And also Afrisel, I see the CEO is here with us. I want to thank the CEO of, of Afrisel and their support. Also, we want to thank our partners, um, Civil Society, APA, the PPRC, NEC, IRN, and especially also to the Associated Press. They are our leading partner. They will be obviously screening the debate across the world, not just in Sierra Leone, but across the entire world, that uh, courtesy of the Associated Press. I also want to thank the BBC World is for releasing our brother, Hassan Aouni, to come to Sierra Leone to help us moderating the debate. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. God. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. God bless you. Thank you very much for coming. It's the Right. I think there you have it. That was uh, uh, a classic moment, if I can put it that way. I want to get your parting shots very quickly. I'll start with you, Marcella. Parting shots. You're good and bad for the week. And your parting shot. <clears throat> so far, um, the good is that the electoral process is on track. The bad is that um, the nominations, the symbol award that's are coming to the fore, we are not seeing the kind of gender balance we want to see. And that's creating a lot of concern mm -hmm. for us. And your parting shot? Well, good luck to all Sierra Leoneans as we brace up for 2018 elections, March 7th. <laughs> okay, Prof. Uh, My bella file. Yeah. What's your parting shot? And you're good and bad. Good and bad. What happened to me? I woke up with a very... Severe pain on my butt yesterday. Did That's the bad. <laughs> <laughs> That's the <a> bad. <laughs> the good is, in spite of that, I have had a very good day. Too. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and what is your parting shot on the AOIV presidential debate on the 15th of February? <laughs> Look forward to the candidates doing their homework so that they can come and, and not mm -hmm. getting the light banter, but mm -hmm. address things that will interest people. Mm -hmm. Um, I think I got into four accidents today. Not serious. Oh, because no. driving in Freetown is atrocious. I think um, the, the traffic rules are not uh, respected. People just caught in front of you and drive. Uh, but it's also fun just having to navigate that. So it's both good and bad at the same time. Because it, it, it tests you. Um, in terms of the debates, I still will maintain that they are important at the procedural level in terms of actually having these guys in the same room and us having to hear what they have to say in relation to what their plans are for the country. Um, and, and I hope um, that this presents an opportunity for us to be able, those of us um, who watch the debate, and I encourage people to watch the debate, and actually size the candidates up. Um, don't vote for somebody just because you share the same ethnicity. Don't vote for somebody just because you know them. Don't vote for somebody just because you are from the same region. Actually, listen to what they have to say. And normally, if somebody is lying, you could tell. Um, and, but at the same time, you should also be mindful there are some people who are very good at articulating policies, but they actually are not very good at implementing them. Mm -hmm. And I think it has to be complicated in that way. Mm -hmm. um, I wish everybody a peaceful elections and hopefully you will be able to have another debate not just this one maybe several as one of the aspirants or, or somebody representing the aspirants will mm -hmm. say. but i yeah. think also we forgot to mention that you know in articulating the issues to the 
to the populace, we will require the candidates to break it down in yeah. understandable chunks yeah. for them in both Creole and in English. And of course, all those details will be revealed as we continue. And uh, there you have it. It was almost impossible to imagine the candidates coming together to commit to the presidential debate, but it has come to pass. If you know anything about AYV Media, then you know that that was the difficult part. Once the candidates answered the call of the people and AYV Media was tasked with creating the platform, you can be rest assured that a world-class production awaits you. Only AYV is up to the task to put together a debate of the standard befitting the people of Sierra Leone. Stand by for the most advanced set designs in the most stringently organized debate in the history of debates in West Africa. With over 10 studios all over the country with the most seasoned analysts guiding us through the process, a global congregation in the AYV London studio to bring the views of the diaspora real time, the radio link rebroadcasted by over 40 radio stations and the event reported on by all internet national media it is going to be a technical achievement on a level unseen before and it can only be ayv because ayv say it with me that in salon sabi to all our listeners oh you can say it with me <laughs> <laughs> to all our listeners on 101.6 FM, AYV Radio, our viewers on Channel 33, AYV TV, Countrywide, and of course our AYV TV app worldwide, which I'm sure Prof watches us on when he's in Canada. Freezing cold, by the way, here the temperatures are quite chilly right now. I want to say a big thank you for joining us. This has been AYV on Sunday. Do stand by for Patricia Conte with the primetime news. I will see you next week. Have a good night.